How's it going YouTube? My name is LB Ninja 7 your resident Mistweaver Monk, and guys, it is a great day to be a Mistweaver Monk. There was just a blue post, a very short one, completely dedicated to Mistweaver Monks, and it's it's overwhelmingly great news. So let's go and jump into it. There's not really much prefacing I can do. Let's just read what they had to say. So the community manager said, hello Mistweavers, we have a few updates planned, Guardians of the Dream, and we'd like to share some of our thoughts here. So this is all for Mistweavers. Hello Mistweavers. First up is defensiveness and healing elixir updates. As you know, they recently changed healing elixir. It was, it used to be a button that we could press off the global cooldown. So we could channel or press it while channeling soothing mist or while casting a vivify. We could just press it at any point and just bump our health up a little bit. However, they recently changed it to where now it is completely passive. We have no control over when it happens. It's just whenever we fall below, I think it's 35% health, it'll just auto bump us up back by 15% health. So very underwhelming and at, at at the baseline, I think they're going for, they want it to be more passive. And, and they'll mention that here. They want it to be more passive, take just one more button off of our hands, one more way to survive off of our hands and heal ourselves up and make it more passive. And, and the idea is good, but how they went about it is very bad because it procs so, so, so much less often than uh, when you could press it yourself. In a key, you think of like a 30 minute key, it's on a 30 second recharge, you can press it technically 60 times if you're very optimized with it and and have that much use for it you can press it like 60 times in that key whereas how many times do you drop below 15 percent health you know maybe 10 times if you're unlucky if you're lucky i don't know how you would think that but just it, it's just when you take the control the agency out of it then it just takes a lot away from the the power of the the spell or the button or the, the passive talent and it appears that they heard our feedback in that so miss weaver is squishier than we would like thank you they finally acknowledge that yes we don't have a talent in our talent tree that gives us 10 percent armor like other melee classes particularly for a primarily melee based healer this wording is a little weird but anyways and its defensive toolkit is based mainly around active spell use yeah our, all of our passive talents other than yulon's grace which they just recently made it into like a, a very viable talent node other than that most of our our best defensives are buttons that we press we have uh, diffused magic we have fortifying brew and dampen harm other than that if we don't have one of those active and one of the big slams of damage we're just at risk of being like one shot whereas other classes they have a little bit more like fortitude and they can survive those things we just don't have that so they said we don't feel it's a appropriate to ask Miss Weavers to actively manage nearly every part of their defensive kit to play at the highest level so we want to explore passivity for healing elixir and I I do think exploring the passivity is a great option I'm glad that they tried this change or tested it out during the PTR testing because it gave us some time to give back some I think valuable feedback I do think passivity is there is a future for healing elixir in in like the passivity realm however I just think that the how they went about it the execution just was not uh, not very good now what could they do and, and they they're very vague here they don't really say exactly what their changes are going to be we'll get into that we'll get into theory crafting what they actually mean by some of these in just a moment but let's go and knock out the rest of these notes we also agree there is room for improvement with the current updated passive design and players can expect updates on upcoming PTR builds that are intended to provide value while the low health effect is not needed. So yes, that is kind of what their vagueness, the vagueness that I was referring to. We'll get into that in just a second. Let's go and finish this. This passive update also gives us room to make modifications without straining key binding space to a certain personal defensive element of Miss Weaver's toolkit that is currently out of use, namely Expel Harm. So they're finally addressing the fact that Expel Harm has been non-existent to Miss Weavers for so long. Expel Harm, if you've never played Windwalker or Brewmaster, you'll know that this spell is very important to them. I mean, for Windwalkers, it gives them a chi point. And for Brewmasters, it gives them a lot of health back. They can heal so much back with this. But for us, we don't have any of that, like the special effects, the, the added bonus to pressing this button. It is just a self heal and not a good one at that. So they said several changes to Expel Harm have been made to increase its viability for Miss Weaver and fully integrate it into the 
the kit. This isn't an off global option like Helium Elixir was, so it's still gonna be on the global cooldown, but uh, so it can instead be much more impactful while reducing the total uh, actions per minute, the APM required to play Mistweaver optimally in tense moments. Yeah, because when, when, when you were pushing high keys and things got, you know, stressful, you're in the middle of your cooldown, but you're still kind of falling behind, you would have to kind of optimize and press your, your healing elixir as you're casting a spell to heal someone else or, or something like that. You really have to optimize your actions per minute and it could add up. You know, I know my hand is getting tired from playing Miss Weaver. I'm sure some of you guys out there are feeling that as well. So I do appreciate this. So taking this or, or keeping this off the global cooldown while just boosting its strength is going to be amazing for us. I really hope this means that they're going to add like an extra effect. Maybe it grabs us a little bit more mana back or, you know, something like that to kind of go along with our play style right now. Kind of give it that extra extra oomph that it has for the other two monk specs. But they said, this is a bit of a trade-off, but we're hoping the overall feel is like healing elixir, but punchier. So they want it to hit harder than healing elixir. So I, I honestly don't know what this could mean. Maybe it means like, something like it'll scale up based on some you know modifier maybe how much mana we're missing or or how many renewing mists we have out we could do something like that because for brewmasters it scales up for however many orbs they have out so I, i'm excited to see what they mean by this they said additionally the soothing mist functionality for expel harm will be removed to avoid having to tune around healing allies so if you did not know the spells that work while you're channeling a soothing mist that do not cancel that soothing mist and that heal your ally they are enveloping mist they are vivify and expel harm is on that list believe it or not also there's things like zen pulse manatee or old manatee i should say like things like that thunder focus t other things but these are the three that could heal your allies other than i guess technically zen pulse does heal but no one, no one used Expel Harm during a channel of Soothing Mist. I mean, there's just no point to it. It just does not heal a lot. But now that they're saying they're gonna make it more punchy, make it heal more, somehow make it heal more, that I'm glad that they're doing this. One, we're not losing much with this because I mean, I guess, Technically, if they make it stronger, we would be losing something. But honestly, I just, no one uses that functionality of it. So no harm, no foul, make it worth pressing. We also think this may help the class talent tree feel more satisfying to path through. Oh God, here we go. As expel harm talents will be more of an enticing option. Hopefully these updates in totality will help Miss Weaver defensively while making it more satisfying and approachable. I do think as someone who who makes like very, you know, mid-level content in terms of like, I, I don't push to number one rank and I also am not like a normal raider. I'm a mythic raider, but I, I don't push super hard for like bleeding edge. As someone in this realm, I kind of see both sides of it, okay? I know that people who do push the rank one, they don't mind things like Healing Elixir being off the global, global cooldown. I mean, they like having the agency of when these buttons are pressed uh, and, and just how much effect they can plan on. They like planning on incoming damage and planning on how they're gonna heal that exact amount, playing the most efficient way possible. Whereas for beginners, they see so many effects like this, so many optimizations that this class has. I mean, if you, or this spec has, if you look at how much optimization goes into the top level of play of Mistweaver alone, it's, it's insane. It is insane. So I get it why there's frustration on either end. There's always gonna be that tug and pull. Um, but I always try to, you know, I, I hate to say it, but I always try to just think about what their goal is. And it really seems like they're gonna be moving in a good direction here, making something like Healing Elixir more passive, as long as they don't take away so much of its strength like they just did, they just tried out, then I do think that this could be a positive change. And I'm excited to see what, what their plan is for it. Now, ideally, if you asked me, the basic level fix would be to combine the former Healing Elixir and the current one. So if we were to drop below 35% health, boom, it auto consumes a charge. Now, if we wanna use it while we're at 80% health, we can press the button, we can consume a charge. I think that is probably where they're gonna land because it's the middle ground. It's literally the best of both worlds and it helps out the new players because they could take the talent and just not think about it. Yeah, they won't get the maximum value, but that's what a new Mistweaver needs is, is to just get the buttons to work 
in their favor, get through the content that they're doing so that they can learn it down the line how to optimize it later on, while also not taking away from the the rank ones, you know, the mega sets of the world, the really cracked players who look for those 1% or 0.01% improvements to, to be able to push a little bit further and a little bit toward the more toward the top. So I am a huge fan of that. Now, Expel Harm, this is kind of going in the op opposite direction. In my opinion, they're saying that they, um, they want to take off some buttons, but then they're going to add, hopefully they don't make it so strong to where it's like a normal thing in our rotation which I don't think that a self heal would do that, but I think in raid, if it does heal for a lot, I'm sure I could imagine some parsers pressing it on cooldown if it does you know, pack that much of a punch. However, we, like I was saying, we currently do not press this button in our rotation. I mean, it is such a meme at how little it heals yourself. You are much better off channeling a Soothing Mist and casting a Vivify and two global cooldowns than pressing Expel Harm in that one. Like it's, it's honestly such a meme that people take it off of their action bars. They actually take this button off. Uh, however, I will say the talents that go along with Expel Harm, let's go ahead and pull them up here. There are so many talents that go along with it. Expel Harm's healing and crit strike chance is increased. And then there's one down here, Expel Harm's healing is increased by up to 100% uh, based on your missing health. So it can punch harder the lower your health is. Now, in my opinion, this talent technically just got a nerf with the new healing elixir. So, but also these talents are such memes because like I said, Expel Harm is a meme. I'm excited. I am excited that they're gonna add this, add some viability to actually pressing this button. I hope though, my hope for this is that they don't add so much to where it now becomes very commonplace in our rotation. It could just become like that way. It could be like what Healing Elixir was before where it's just, it's how we heal ourselves. You know, it's how, it's the button we press to, to punch, to heal ourselves. And if that's the direction that they go, then I guess I see more um, viability to this change of Healing Elixir of making it more passive. If this is the passive side, and then Expel Harm becomes what Healing Elixir used to be, to me that kind of seems stupid. They might want to just add like a talent that says like, Expel Harm will automatically cast if you fall below 50% health. And then boom, there you go. Now you've kind of fixed the problem. Go back to the old Healing Elixir. I don't know, I, I, I don't know exactly what these changes mean because they're being very vague. However, I really think that they are they are honestly listening to our, our community feedback. I mean, the fact that they have done so many tweaks and changes to, to spells and abilities like this, it recently, I mean, they are really listening to our feedback. So make sure and comment down below what you think might change, what they might mean by these two changes, and then what you hope they might change. Now, obviously there's gonna be a lot of different opinions down below, but I really think that um, this is great. No matter how it ends up, it's great because it shows that they are listening. And guys, we haven't even gotten to the best part of these notes yet. So like I said, let me know down below what you think of these changes, what they could mean, what you think they should mean. And I'm excited to engage in that conversation with you guys. You know, I love responding to comments. I am such a loser in that fact. I spend all day responding to comments, enjoying my time talking to you guys on Discord and YouTube. But yeah, anyways, let's move on to the last thing. Definitely not the least thing. So Guardians of the Dream tier set. We're aware of several functionality issues, including some healing spells, some, come on, the most important ones were not working. Uh, some healing spells not being counted toward its accumulation. So what they mean by this is there is a list. There's basically, you can picture like a yes and a no column. And there's a question for those of you who are completely out of the loop, our four piece tier set, we basically hand a bucket to someone whenever we renewing miss them. And then for the next eight seconds, they're gonna store 20% of all the healing done to them. And then at the end of that buff, whenever that eight second buff falls off, they're gonna splash that bucket and split it evenly among anyone with renewing mess on them. So they're gonna accumulate 20% of, it says all healing done to them while they have that buff on them. And then it's gonna disperse and, and pop and do a big heal or I guess a small heal depending on everyone who has renewing mess. So it's all in all, it was a really exciting tier set. Myself, I was stoked for this tier set and a lot of other people were. 
However, in testing and PTR, the four piece was definitely outshined by the power level of the two piece. And that's never a good thing, especially when it's because it was kind of behaving weirdly. It says all healing spells. It says these words, all healing spells. However, it was only like half of our healing sources. Things like invigorating mist, the cleaving of our vivifies onto the renewing mist targets. To me, that's like the one thing that makes the most sense to work, to cleave the healing on everyone with chi harmony, and then boom, those will pop and all that invigorating mist will pop and just do a lot of healing. No, that was not working. That was not. Ancient teachings and awakened feline, both of our mythic plus standout abilities we play i mean that is what makes our mythic plus build shine so that we can do passive healing those were not working neither of them they just weren't storing that healing so you would apply renewing mist and then spinning crane kick do like half a million healing or damage and healing while that uh that buff was applied and then that buff would pop and heal for like 2000 because of the renewing mist that was ticking into it that was being stored the ain't the awakened feline was not it was just very upsetting However, this is overwhelmingly amazing news. So let's go ahead and finish reading it. So all healing, aside from other accumulators, such as Chi Harmony itself and Lessons of Anger, is intended to contribute to the final healing. Now, just in case you're confused, this, this is honestly good because then these could ping pong off each other. They would slowly diminish, but if one Chi Harmony popped and then that Chi Harmony heal was stored into another one, they could basically just keep storing each other so it would behave weird and i could imagine from like a coding standpoint it could honestly be the next thing if it worked like that where it could ping pong back and forth it could slow down the game a bit i would think and then lessons of anger could work uh in a similar vein so i get why these two are not intended to work with with the four piece however everything else working with it is what we were excited about and it's just been rough testing as mistweaver and it not working as intended now the where it becomes weird first off let's go ahead and finish reading this uh is intended to contribute to the final healing we're looking to address this in future ptr builds so what i was going to say is what makes this weird is mist weaver was actually honestly doing a lot of healing in the ptr in the raid testing that i was in and i've seen some of the other like top mist weaver monks their logs and stuff look great as well it was looking like mist weaver was just even though this tier set was bugged and invigorating mist one of our basically our top heal and raid scenarios even though it was not contributing to the four piece we were still like topping charts we were looking very good we were healing a lot so this is just amazing news because it, it's gonna it's gonna mean that the, the tier set's gonna do what it says it's gonna feel a lot more impactful and we're still gonna be healing a lot now where my worry is where the concern is with this uh, is that we were doing well. We were doing fine healing. So now that this Chi Harmony is gonna do a lot more healing in most scenarios, I mean, Awakened Feline's gonna, gonna pump into it, Ancient Teachings and Invigorating Mist, along with a lot of other sources are gonna heal into this. It's, it's gonna add a lot more healing to the four set. It's gonna make me worry that they're gonna nerf it. As you know, they recently buffed the, the number from 15% of all, all healing stored in. Now it's it's gone up to 20%. I'm worried that since it's they're gonna fix these bugs, make all those big healing sources work with it, are they gonna nerf it back down to 15? I would honestly accept that. I think what a lot of people are scared of is the two set being nerfed because um, yeah, 50% bonus healing is a lot. What on earth did my voice just do? <laughs> 50% healing is a lot. So, I mean, it, it kind of makes me worried. What will they, hopefully, hopefully they don't nerf it now that they're fixing it. Hopefully they just fix it. And um, I don't know, I, I hope they don't nerf the four set. If anything, if they're gonna nerf something, I don't know. I don't wanna be responsible for them nerfing it. So I'm not gonna say what my opinion is there, but guys, this is excellent news. This is honestly excellent news. Fixing a spell that has been a meme. What's next? What what spells could they change next? In my opinion, Cackling Jade Lightning is next. If you're a dev and you're watching this, Cackling Jade Lightning, mark it down. Make it work with White Tiger Statue, just like Soothing Mist works with Jade Statue. Make Cackling Jade Lightning like give it the expel harm treatment. Hopefully you guys make expel harm good, make it worth 
pressing to heal ourselves and then hopefully you guys figure out what is up with healing elixir i don't know what you guys are going to do but hopefully you guys keep it passive but at the similar power level or bring it back to not being passive and just accept that we were fine with current healing elixir but guys as always let me know what you guys think down below because i'm very interested to see what you guys have to say about these changes now it, like i said i just said the word changes but these are not changes in the game yet so i can't give you guys the the absolute numbers or the definite numbers but this is what they said their plan is and they said that they're going to plan for future ptr builds so these should be fixed all these changes should come before 10.2 actually hits live so i will be testing all these changes my stream link is down below if you ever want to catch me streaming the testing but also i'll be posting some videos along the way so make sure that you are subscribed so that you don't miss any of those videos especially if you are a mistweaver player or just want to see how mistweaver is going to perform in 10.2 maybe you're a raid leader have a mistweaver in your group give them special treatment make their the druids innervate them love on the mistweavers but guys thank you so much for watching this video huge quick shout out to my patreons you guys are what's carrying this channel thank you so much for all that you guys do if you want to see your name on this list as well the link will be down in the description so check that out on your way out like the video if you like these update style videos guys i will see you in the next one until then take care